What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we got a lot of stuff on our hands. We gotta wash it today. See what's wrong with this front wheel right here, cause it's not turning. Take the rest of the, the parts off, and then go get some parts, start putting it back together, paint it, and, and finish with this build as quick as possible. So, let's go. So now we have the car on jack stands. We're gonna take the wheel off and then see what else is damaged so we could get the parts today. So we just got this tire off. So now we're gonna take the next tire off on the next side. So now we're trying to take the tie rod off, the outer tie rod, because it doesn't want to come off. We're going to cut the outer tie rod off since it doesn't want to come out. We finally, we cut it off. See? So there's no way. I could be able to turn it because it's all worn out. So we just have to cut it. So this is the old one. This is the new one that we have. So we're gonna put on this new one. See how long it takes. Put the tie rod back on. So to do the tie rod, you have to have a special tool to put it in. I mean, yeah, so you have to have a special tool to put the, the tire rod in. Um, so for the other, if you wanna try to get the balance, the alignment of the car back to its original position, then you would just like count these and then just to see, to like try to get the alignment back. But I, but I mean, once we finish this, we're gonna still have to take it to get an alignment. So I'm gonna bring the special tool back so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the special tool that I'm talking about. I only spent like 23 bucks for this. I mean, you have other ones that works better, but this is the only one they had. So I just grabbed it. So let's see how it works. So yeah, this is it. You bring it together. And just start putting each side on. Then you just put the nuts on both sides.
then you just hold it down tight as possible. I mean, this tool, it kind of makes it more difficult. The other one makes it way easy. So you don't have to like keep pulling and putting it, taking it off and putting it on back. So now that we have it all tight and secure on it, we're just gonna start tightening it. So you have to have a long extension. I mean, I had to join some extensions together and then just turn. And that's it. And then just take off the tie rod tool and that's it. And then we just put another nut right here. That's it. And that's it simple way and of putting the tie rod on. So now all we're doing is just taking the inner tie rod tool off, put this boot over over the inner tie rod, zip tie it, and that's it. And this zip tie this edge up here, and then that's it. And it's all done easy and quick way to just change the tie rod, the inner tie rod out and the outer tie rod. Now that I removed the inside piece, now I'm going to have him push it out. gonna put the windshield wiper bottle back on and then I'm gonna show you how to rewire some of the wires because they're broken so we're gonna rear the wires for the windshield wiper bottle and also the horn back on Yes, yeah, so now we're just going to start tightening it down. Just make sure you have an extension. It makes it more easier once you have an extension. We'll just use this. So attach the wires, then get a heat gun and melt it onto the wire so it won't break.
So all you do is install this over the wire. All you do, just install this over the wire. That goes over the wire. Then you join the same color to it. So you just install it over the wire, then twist both wires together. Remember, make sure it's the same color for both wires so you don't mess up the sensor. This right across it, stop it in the middle. And then just leave it there. And then that's when you get the heat gun. This one I'm doing it for the horn so just make sure and remember line up the wires with the same color so you don't mess up anything once the wires are joined together just pull it over it and that's it only thing we need to, get to do right now is just get the heat gun start heating it and that's it And that's it. So now you see how they look. So you don't have to worry about it coming apart now. It's all good, nice and tight. Tuck these wires away and start getting on, taking off that, that reinforcement bar. That's a wrap for this episode of We Rebuilds. So we got a lot of stuff done to the car. We still gotta get it painted on some of the parts, the hood, the fender. Like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. It helps the channel to grow. So, and check out our Instagram. Remember, we at Rebuilds. Stay positive, stay motivated.